exceptional interior decor ideas top tips and latest home decor ideas 2023 just keep watching be one of the hd interiors family to make your home vibrant hd interiors channel is your way to build a contemporary home if your home is due for a design update but you have a limited budget and even less time you're in the right place i thought of top home decor ideas to help you start with something as simple as an accent wall colorful light bulb or new throw pillow your entire space can feel fresh on trend but timeless and refined you can tackle each of these decorating ideas in one day even though the results will look like it took way longer to pull off here are top tips and latest home decor ideas 2023 set up a cozy reading spot no designated reading nook no problem if your home doesn't have any leftover real estate to convert into a reading nook design your formal living room to serve double duty as a cozy lounge area don't be afraid of black paint the soft black paint color in the bedroom makes it feel special and intimate in ways you'd never be able to achieve with a lighter hue the eclectic furniture lends itself nicely to the darkness too adding a more lived-in and homey vibe style an empty fireplace for limited budget rethink how you style an empty fireplace in this texture-rich environment, you can turn an empty fireplace into a little gallery to display pottery and artwork. Treat your windows. Adding the right window treatment can make all the difference. Restyle a bookshelf. Also, from the inky stained wood, modern side chair, and clean lined ladder, you can design a gorgeous home library with contemporary take on traditional design. You could fill it with books, or you could add in decor accents and accessories like vases and sculptures to break up the monotony of a wall of books. Or, color coordinate your books. Not only will it feel more cohesive, but, if you've got a lot of bright colors in your collection, they'll stand out even more. Paint wall colors light and neutral. Stick to colors like beige or gray, especially on the first floor where flow is important. You want to minimize jarring transitions. Neutral walls give you the greatest decorating flexibility allowing you to easily switch up your accessories and if you have two small rooms next to each other painting them the same neutral color helps them feel larger look at a paint strip and move up or down a shade or two for a subtle variation from room to room let the sun shine in your kitchen when it comes to heavy outdated drapes a naked bank of windows is better than an ugly one ideally window dressings should be functional and elegant think shears paired with full length panels if your room gets a lot of suns opt for light colors that won't fade the most recommended lightweight fabrics for panels are cotton linen and silk blends because they tend to hang well make sure your sofa talks to your chairs think of a nice hotel lobby the furniture is arranged in groupings that invite conversation when you place the furniture in your living room, aim for a similar sense of balance and intimacy. Up.
A conversation area, that has a U-shape, with a sofa, and two chairs facing each other, at each end of the coffee table, or an H-shape, with a sofa directly, across from two chairs, and a coffee table, in the middle, is ideal. One common mistake, should you avoid pushing all the furniture against the walls. People do that because they think it will make their room look bigger, but in reality, floating the furniture away from the walls makes the room feel larger. Hang at least, one mirror, in every room. Mirrors, can make, a space feel brighter, because they bounce, the light around the room. But, placing one, in the wrong spot, can be, almost as bad, as not having one at all. Put mirrors, on walls perpendicular to windows, not directly across from them. Hanging a mirror, directly opposite a window, can actually, bounce the light right back out the window. Scale artwork, to your wall. There are few things, more ridiculous looking than, hanging dinky little art, too high on the wall. The middle of a picture, should hang at eye level. If one person, is short, and the other tall, average their heights. Also, take scale into account, for a large wall, go big with one oversized piece, or group smaller pieces gallery style. For the latter, don't space the pictures, too far apart, 2 to 4 inches, between items usually looks best. layer your lighting every room should have three kinds of lighting ambient which provides overall illumination and often comes from ceiling fixtures task which is often found over a kitchen island or a reading nook an accent which is more decorative highlighting for a living room you should have at least three watts or 42 lumens per square foot one visual trick by using up lights Placing a canister uplight, or a torchier in the corner, will cast a glow on the ceiling, making a room seem bigger.